So South Africa has taken legal action against Israel. They have presented a marvelously well-articulated case in the International Court of Justice in the intent to stop Israeli genocide at its heel. They have presented evidence that you will see in this channel and in many channels and on social media in general. You have Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu calling Palestinians Amalek appealing to genocidal verses of the Bible. You have the Israeli Defense Minister blocking food supplies and water supplies and electricity. You have multiple war crimes including use of white phosphorus in Gaza as well as the IDF soldiers singing and partying saying that they will genocide the Palestinians. This video evidence was specifically provided in the International Court of Justice. You have Israeli civilians who in a poll, 60% of them, have said that Israel is not using enough force against Gaza even though they have been bombarded with enough missiles to be equivalent to three nuclear bombs used in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Everyone in Israel and everyone in the Jewish community in general, from politicians to journalists, from celebrities to civilians, all of them have expressed a genocidal intent as well as on the grounds evidence with Israeli soldiers making TikToks and social media posts celebrating the death of innocent civilians. Israeli soldiers on social media posting themselves celebrating the destruction of residential blocks in Gaza as they drink tea and shisha. All of these cases were well articulated in front of the International Court of Justice by South Africa with the world thanking them for taking this initiative. Now the Israeli response has been ludicrous calling South Africa Hamas. I want you to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos. We will see what the response will be in front of the court. Historically they have rejected appearing in front of the international courts calling them biased and unfair. So we will see what they will present in front of the court. All of these atrocities after October the 7th along with the fact that before October the 7th for 16 years Gaza has been blockaded with its airways and seas blockaded completely isolated from the rest of the world with its civilians put on a starvation diet not adding chocolate and chicks enter into Gaza with ludicrous excuses that, that this is for security of the Israeli civilians. Overnight the West started a war with Yemen bombarding the military sites. The presidents and prime ministers, I want you to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos bypassing their respective congress and parliaments. The world's eyes should be into the International Court of Justice. If the judges rule fairly then they will stop the genocide of Palestinians. Otherwise it will be the end of rule of law and order.